everyone, it's Alyssa. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm coming at you today with the video I promised, which is a rather large Timu accessory haul. Um, I want to start this off by saying if I sound a little annoyed or a little rushed, it's because I just filmed this video and then realized my phone didn't record any of it. So <laughs> kind of bummed out, kind of annoyed, but I am redoing it anyway because that's what I'm here for. Um, it is... I don't know if you can see my little cheat sheet. I got it, as always. It is a decent size haul. Um, this is items I've amassed over, like, three or four different orders because I keep seeing things I want, if I'm being honest. And then when I go to check out, I see all these things being recommended to me that I'm like, oh, yeah, I could use that. That's cute. Let me get that. And it results in this. So <laughs> we're back at it again with another sizable team haul. Um, Yeah. <coughs> excuse me um another disclaimer so I am still not a professional at this I still don't have a setup I have no idea what's going on ever um and basically I have a ton of like I'm filming showing the stuff throwing it on the floor <laughs> so if you hear rustling I have two very curious cats that are upstairs watching me kind of like mom what are you doing if you hear chaos it's them they're little chaos twins that's just how they are now that we got all those disclaimers out of the way, I'm going to hop right in and get to doing this a second time. Um, let's start with this, because this is like one of my favorite items ever. So I did get this phone case. I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max, and I was able to find this case for $249. It has little evil eyes, which, in case you haven't noticed, is a theme of mine. I think it's super cute. Um, it seems like really good quality. It's like that flexible plastic, but like still protective, that type of material. Um, and yeah, it's pretty great. Going along that same kind of direction, I have all this stuff balanced on a tiny little table. And I'm trying to pick from it without knocking it all down. I got this little case for my AirPods, because again, it was one of those suggested items that just happened to pop up that is kind of my vibe. Like, tell me that's not the cutest thing you've ever seen. He's a little ghost, a little AirPods thing, and then there's, like, a hook that you clip onto it, which is super cute because it has a little skull on it, and then it loops through there just to carry your AirPods around. I thought he was super duper cute, and he was only $2.98, which was a pretty good deal. Usually get my AirPod cases from either Amazon or TJ Maxx, and they run between, like, $8 and $10, so that was a decent deal. Now... I'm going to go on this whole little mini rant because I did it the first time. I'm going to do it again. I have very long, very thick, wavy hair, and it's such a pain to manage. <laughs> like, I'm aware of how bad it looks right now, and I just didn't have the audacity, I guess, to try to make it look any better because this is as good as it's getting. Like, my roots are out. It, <sighs> we don't got to talk about it, okay? But when I pull my hair up, I get insanely bad migraines because that pulling sensation, that tension, it just kills my head. My hair is so heavy. So actually on Timu, I had ordered a claw clip like three or four or five hauls ago. And I love it. I wear it to work like two, three times a week. It keeps my hair back, like up. It doesn't have that tension headache. It's so, so great. And when I like something, I fixate on it and overbuy it and look at it until I hate it. <laughs> so... I got a couple clips, okay? Hear me out. We're going to start with hmm, this one because it is massive. It was 71 cents, okay? Look at this clip. It's huge. I have a big head and this is like half the size of my big head. So it's half a big head right here. The color, gorgeous. 71 cents, I'm not going to lie. I have a couple things in my cart right now. I'm probably going to order the other colors because this is huge and it has, I don't know if I'll be able to show you, kind of. There's like a line of forks in there so it could really grip your hair without sliding, which the one I use doesn't have. So I'm kind of excited to see how well that works. And like my hair is so long, but I, I don't think it'll be a match for this. Like this just seems so big. It's so sturdy too, like the clamps. So sturdy. It's such a pretty color. Like I'm just obsessed with it all around. 71 cents. I will definitely be ordering more, which reminds me this video. I obviously have my prices to talk about as I go through the items, but I have the links to everything in the description too. So if you see anything you like, you want to go shop it, you should be able to click the little link and it'll take you directly to the item instead of having to search for it yourself. Because I know that can be kind of a pain on Timu, like keywords and all that fun stuff. So yeah, you should be able to click the links to anything you like and it should, as long as I didn't mess it up, take you directly to that item, which is pretty great. Moving on. Um, I got this two pack. So 
I've always been like, I dress in black, white, and gray. Those are just my colors, very neutral. I've always, always, always dressed like that. But recently, I'm branching out, okay? Earth tones. I'm very into beiges, browns, like forest green, sage greens. Just stunning. Like, I'm so into it. So when I saw these two packs of clips, I, of course, ordered them. These ones were $149 for the two pack. I caught it. Again, they seem very sturdy, and they have those teeth in there, which I'm super excited to see how that works. They're matte finished. And it's like a taupe color and a brown color. And I love that rectangular shape. Like, I just think it's so modern and cute and I'm obsessed. So, while I'm thinking of it, if anyone has any cool, like, storage ideas for claw clips, let me know. Because now I have a ton of them and I don't know what I'm going to do with them when they're not in my head. Um, The next ones I picked out, actually, these were the first ones I ordered. It's a three-pack for $158. And they're just three matte finish black ones it has the rectangular one kind of like just the curved one and then like the standard shape um these ones are kind of small I'm not really sure if they'll hold all my hair but I mean it might be good for like a half up half down moment and again the quality seems pretty great the I always because sometimes you could tell like yeah this is gonna snap <laughs> but so far um all the ones I've tried seem to be holding up pretty well so I'll take it. Um, these are the last claw clips, I promise. So this is a four pack, and these were two fifty three for the four. Um, comes with a black clip, two brown clips, and like a taupe clip. And th this is something I touched on in this last filming I did of this. These ones, out of all the ones I got, these ones are the poorest quality. Um, they're kind of hard to get open. Like they stick in there somehow. And also, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but, like, the the plastic wasn't fully smoothed out at the top. So it kind of sticks up, and I could see it getting stuck in your hair, snagging and pulling. The same thing with, like, in here. It's not totally smooth, so I can see it potentially pulling your hair. Um, but that's not an issue I saw with any of the other ones, just with this four-pack of neutral ones. That's the only like qualm I have with them is that I am kind of concerned that it might tug your hair a little bit if it gets stuck. I do have a couple more hair accessories then we're moving on from that I promise. So I ordered this big 50 pack of hair ties um and for this pack it was 98 cents and they're like browns, off-whites, taupes, and blacks and they're actually like the cloth ones so they're not elastic they're cloth and I just feel like that's better for my hair I tend to braid my hair sometimes after I get out of the shower just to make it a little more manageable and these are just more comfortable in my opinion and they don't snap like I'll be pulling up and like you have the hair tie snap off hit you in the eye fly across the room like that whole ordeal like I'd rather avoid that and I just I really like these so I picked up a pack of those 50 of them for 98 cents like you can't go wrong Two more hair accessories. Um, so I got these duckbill clips. This is a six pack and these were 118. Um, I got these because I have like curtain bangs kind of. And as you can see, I keep moving them out of my face. Sometimes they aggravate me. So I figured these will be good to do like a little clip back here like this moment or when I'm doing my makeup to kind of hold them out of my face, stuff like that. Um, the 118 and they're actually metal. Like they're very good quality. Black, the front is matte, the back is shiny. No one really cares about the back, but yeah good quality metal i'll take it and then last i have some hair forks actually they were 113 for the two pack i have a silver one and a gold one right here they are real metal um and these in theory are really really cool like i'm actually excited to try them i just don't know if they'll hold all of my hair one i don't really know how to use them if i'm being 100 percent honest with you like i assume it's like a twist and shove kind of moment but I don't really know. Um, I also don't know if they'll hold my hair considering how long and heavy it is. So if they don't work for me, I might give one to my mom. Her hair's a little shorter than mine. And I just think they're super cool, especially for $1.13. I didn't expect to get two, and I didn't expect them to actually be metal. I thought they'd be plastic, so that's pretty cool. And I hope they work. Otherwise, like I said, I'll re-gift them to a good home where they will get used. So that's it for the hair products. I'm going to do two little miscellaneous ones. So I got nail stickers. Um, This is a pack... I don't even know how many's in here. It's a decent amount. These were 71 cents. And I got these because I saw on TikTok, actually, which I recently downloaded TikTok. I was very late to that game. I just got it like a month ago. But 
I saw in there that these work better than like super glue or nail glue when applying false nails, which I ordered a couple hauls ago as well. Um, so I figured I'd give them a shot. And especially if it's easier, I'm stupid. So when I do my nails, I tend to get super glue everywhere, like on me, on my skin, on my cat, on my bed, like everywhere. So I figured this might make my life a little less stressful, which I'm totally down for, like 100%. These, um, they're just little mini Vaseline lip care kits. So there's like an avocado oil one. This one's either like rose or cherry blossom, honey, and like a hydration one. They're not in English. Otherwise, I would tell you specifically what they are. But I do get the Vaseline brand ones, and I just thought these were so cute. And they kept popping up. So they popped up on my homepage as like a hot item. Then they kept popping up on my like suggested page. And then actually my mom was sitting across from me and said, hey, did you see those little mini Vaseline lip things on Timu? Because... Yes, I got her to download the app and browse, and amongst this haul of my stuff is some other stuff that she requested I order for her, <laughs> um, because, yeah, I'm getting everyone on the Timu train. I just think it's really cool. You get stuff for cheap, and, like, I love cheap stuff. I'm cheap. Shamelessly. But, yeah. So, considering it popped up on my For You page, popped up on my suggested page, and my mom suggested it, I figured it was meant to be, and I had to get them. Especially, like, now, like, the winter, your skin gets so dry and irritated, your lips, like... You can never have enough chapstick, and it's another thing I lose all the time, so it's good to have some backups. Speaking of things I lose all the time, I ordered two pairs of sunglasses. So, this first pair are just black, simple frames. I'm not trying them on because I look stupid in sunglasses all the time. Um, but these were, I want to say $2.29, but I'm probably wrong. If I could find them, I'll tell you. 224 I was close but yeah they're really cheap like they're not fantastic quality but I lose sunglasses religiously like I have been eyeing up this specific pair of Ray-Bans I want so bad for so long but I know I'll lose them so I refuse to buy them so I'd rather just get like Dollar Tree glasses Gabe's 299 glasses Timu glasses I'd rather just get those because yeah they're not the greatest quality but I'm gonna lose them anyway so why should I shell out a ton of money on a pair of sunglasses rant over but then I got these ones for 129 and where I live um there St. Patrick's Day is a big deal okay <laughs> there's a parade like it's a whole day of like drinking and partying like the whole city it's it's great and this is the first year I'm going my friend wants to go so I said I would go and I got these because I don't have any green accessories so I got these little green heart glasses and I'm probably just gonna wear them on top of my head like a little accessory I don't they're very flimsy, they're very cheaply made, but I, I'm sure I'll lose them the same day of this parade, so I'm not too concerned about it. And for less than two bucks, I don't really care. I just thought they were a super cute accessory and I grabbed them for the event. I have two little like boring things and then we'll get into the purses because I am super excited about the purses. I went a little crazy with the purses. That was like, when I think of accessory, I think of purses. So I got some purses. But before then, I have two boring items. So I got a three pack of ankle socks for 168, which reminds me, we'll get back to this, but you just get a black pair, black pair, white pair, gray pair, nothing exciting, some basic ankle socks, who doesn't need socks? But along with that, I had placed an order for just like regular black socks um, and they didn't arrive. So I can actually attest to Timu's customer service now. Because I honestly like couldn't figure out how to request a refund because I'm not that bright sometimes like tech savvy not my thing So I talked to their live chat, which they seem to be available all hours of night I talked to them at like 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So They seem to always be available But um, I just said like hey, I didn't receive this item They requested I send a uh, picture of the package to make sure it hadn't been tampered with which I did and then they issued a refund like it was pretty painless um and their customer service seems to be pretty decent so as much as it sucks that i didn't receive my socks i did go to marshall's and buy a pack today anyway so it sucks i didn't get my socks but at the same time like it kind of worked out because now i get to hype up their customer service a little bit because they were pretty decent there's the you know trouble cat i told you about that's him his name's joey he's a brat now he's looking through everything I have on the floor. Right? Right. But the next not so exciting thing. Actually, I forgot about another thing. So we'll circle back before we get to the purses. But this is just a little canvas zipper bag. This was 269 
And this was another thing, kind of TikTok inspired. It has little pouches inside. Black. Um, I saw a woman do like a car emergency kit, which I thought was cool. She put like deodorant, like toiletries, um, a little sewing kit, flossers, stuff like that in case of emergency in your car. And like my car interior is black leather with like white stitching. So every accessory I had, like even in my last video, um, I stick with that black and white theme. So I just got a little black one. I figured I could put it in my cellar console or like even in my glove box, which is little toiletry essentials for $2.69. It's really decent quality. I really like it. But before I forget, these were $2.98 a piece and they were Apple watch bands. These popped up and in the photo, they had a specific brand name and brand logo on the product. So I ordered them being curious if they were going to show up with that brand logo and product name on them, which they did. You can see here, I got an army green and a black. And they have a white and gray one that I'm probably going to end up ordering as well um, when I order more of those claw clips. And I also have a couple other things in my cart currently. Um, but the only issue is I can't find my Apple Watch. <laughs> so I moved um, November 1st, actually, and I can't find my Apple Watch anywhere. So once I find it, I will probably order more watch bands because I like to switch them out. I have really sensitive skin and, like, they actually caught me. So um, I've been trying a lot of different ones to try to find ones that are most comfortable and those seem really comfortable and stretchy and soft so I'm hoping they're decent once I find my watch I'll let you know but now we're on to the purses so because I already filmed this video I already know which one I'm not recommending and we're gonna start there so I got this little black leather moment for $3.98 right looks like a cute little shoulder bag it's just not good quality um you get what you pay for obviously I know that like I know that going into these videos whether it's this or Sheen or Romway or Wish like all of these things I've ordered from I understand the risk you're taking by saving a couple dollars but this ain't it so if there's anything in this haul I don't recommend it's this purse um it looks cute from like far away just a little shoulder bag you could see like the leather finishing but they only finished one side so this is like a really scratchy uncomfortable material and I don't know if you'll be able to see but when you stretch it, like, this is going to break. It's it's not going to be holding up very well. The hardware is all plastic. Um, the zipper functions, but it's plastic. The inside is that same, like, weird material that this is. And it's just, I just, I, I'll use it. But, um, I wouldn't recommend that one to anybody. I don't recommend. You may as well just spend a couple extra dollars and get one that's decent quality. But this next one's a win. Um, this is actually a corduroy, like khaki backpack. Um, and it was four forty nine, so less than five dollars. It's a decent size. Like I thought it was gonna be a mini one, decent size. I didn't put the straps together yet because that's just filming a video is enough ambition. Putting together straps, whole other story. Um, but it does have compartments. So it has like a front compartment here with a zipper. And then the back opens up. It has, like, the little water bottle pouch on the side. And I just thought it was super cute. Like I said, I'm very into, like, earth tones and neutrals. And this was cute. Um, provides a little more storage than, like, the shoulder bags, which is all the other ones I purchased. And I just thought it was cute. And I, I will say now that I'm, like, waving it around, it kind of has a scent. <laughs> like, I guess, like, a, a chemically processed scent, which is to be expected. I'll just throw it in the wash. Hopefully it doesn't fall apart in the wash. We'll see. I don't think it will it seems like decent quality but yeah 449 less than five dollars for this backpack that i think is super super cute so i'm like not mad at that at all and then i have four bags to talk about i'm gonna save my favorite for last this next one um is actually two of the same so i got each of them for three dollars nine cents they're both two little shoulder bags a light blue and this says it's white um a disclaimer i am slightly colorblind but to me this looks more like a cream color like, in real life and on camera, it just looks more of, like, an off-white cream color. But, I mean, I just dropped one. Either way, like, I think they're super cute. Just little statement pieces. Something to take out. When I go out, I really only take, like, my phone, my ID, payment card, and maybe my car keys. So, I don't need, like, a bulky purse. But they expand out. They're decent size. Um, let's see. The zippers are actual metal on these ones. The zipper's good on the blue one. And then, how about this white one? yeah they're both good they're both silver too which i prefer silver hardware over gold which i don't know why because i prefer gold jewelry but i don't know they're both cute for 309 like you can't beat it it's like a canvasy material um 
the inside reminds me like the only way I could describe it is like when you go camping a tent <laughs> it reminds me of that material which probably isn't the best descriptor but that's all I could think of to describe it because I'm kind of stupid um yeah I don't think it's a bad deal three dollars for that heck yeah we're down to the last two items I promise well I have an honorable mention which I don't remember if I mentioned because I already filmed this video so I'm gonna mention it again but this here is a corduroy purse. I spent $3.38 on this. It's a slight bit darker than the backpack, but it's again that same size. I like a small purse when I go out. What can I say? I like what I like. Hardware looks good. Zipper looks good. The inside is the tent material, as we're going to call it. There aren't like pouches or anything, but I don't care. Cute little shoulder bag. We'll go with anything. Just adorable, neutral, little, you know, fun. This last item is my favorite one and I don't know why because like if I went shopping in person I don't think it would catch my eye but it just did on the site and it was the first thing I added to my bag and I knew I had to have it and it's this it's like tan and it's really fuzzy and soft and super cute the zipper is like butter inside isn't tent material but you could see like it sheds a little bit so I'll like lint roll it the only thing I don't understand is it has these extra bits of fabric so there's one here and one here and I don't get the point so I'm honestly gonna cut them off because I think it looks stupid <laughs> like I think it's just unnecessary but it's so soft and so cute and I'm obsessed with it and I'm so happy I bought it and like I said it was $3.99 and I just think it was so cute it's so little and just like a little shoulder bag moment like oh so cute so that is the last of the items I have to show you I do have a couple topics of conversation um I wish I could remember everything. I'm so mad. Like, have you guys ever done that where you film a video and, like, the momentum was there and, like, everything was going great. You were on, like, I was on the ball with the prices and everything was set up so nice and I had all these topics to talk about and it just flowed so effortlessly. And then I looked at my phone and I was like, I didn't record any of this because I had it with, like, the camera facing me. Now I'm doing it on selfie mode because I'm terrified of that happening again, even though I feel like the quality is better when the phone slipped. Whatever. Um... But I ordered a two pack of gel nail polish. It's a black one and a white one. It was like $1.88. And I also ordered a UV nail lamp. One to do with my nails, two because I work with UV resin and that's how you cure it. Um, and the lamp was like $2, maybe three. I was going to show you the nail polish. I can't find it because I'm very disorganized. <laughs> and the UV lamp, I'm actually, I need to order like, you know, you plug in your phone, there's the wire and the block that goes into the wall. I need to order a block for it. So I haven't tried it yet, but I would like to eventually give a review on that. Um, so that's something I want to talk about too. Um, with my love of clothes and accessories, I kind of have a hoarding problem. Um, I have a lot of clothes, a lot of shoes, a lot of accessories. Everything you can imagine, I have a lot of. Um, so I have a Mercari and I want to start listing more on my Mercari. So if that's anything you guys are interested in looking at, let me know. I will link it. Um, I linked all these items in the description. I don't remember if I mentioned that or not. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. Um, my momentum's a little off now, but I will have everything linked in the description. If anyone's interested in that Mercari, I will link it. Um, just let me know. The gel nail polish and lamp, I will give an update. And I also wanted to just take a moment to ask you guys what kind of videos you're interested in. Um... Do you like stuff like this where it's more like haul based um bargain shopping because that's what i live for like i i'm cheap i'm unashamed cheap um i do a lot of sheen wish amazon like best finds stuff like that um so i was wondering if that's something you guys are into or i also do a lot of crafting so i think i've mentioned it before i work with resin uv resin i have a cricut um i make like soaps candles jewelry like I make a lot of different things so I don't know if that's a format you guys would be interested in where it's just like a craft with me kind of where it's chit chatty and like showing you my method the tools I use the supplies I use stuff like that um I could I could make that happen if it's something you guys are interested in I also plan on building a vanity soon hopefully um I had one that I built when I was younger and life events uh it kind of got ruined so I would like to recreate it, but bigger and better. And if that's something you guys would like to come along for, let me know. Um, but yeah, basically, if you have any video suggestions, anything you'd like to see, just leave it down below. Um, I'm not opposed to anything. I'm still kind of finding my niche in all this. So I'm always open to suggestions. 
and I appreciate the feedback. I like seeing what you guys have to say um, and going from there. So that's about it for this haul. Um, another large Timu haul in the books. I'm sure it will not be the last one. Like I said, I have a, a shopping list building up again already for there. Um, but yeah, I will stop talking your head off now. Like always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know how your day is going. I hope it's going wonderfully, whether it's day, night, whatever. I hope you are having a great time. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.